In this video, we are going to cover fixing dead keys on a Korg Poly 61. And I've already done the repair. Um, and it's I retook it apart to show you what I did because I did the typical fix, which is to remove these little suctioned keypad triggers um, and cleaned them up with alcohol, cleaned both sides, the receiving side and the little contacts on the inside. And that didn't quite do it for all of them. Um, rubbing these with alcohol real good and then rubbing all the contacts under there with alcohol. That didn't work. So, what I did do that worked and made the action better in general and fixed every single key was to And here are the base of the keys. They're upside down right now. But this is the part that pokes through this little pill-shaped hole and presses that down and, and activates your key. So how to make these extend just a hair bit further so that all of them press that suction pad down well enough to make a good strong contact with the contacts underneath uh, without throwing off the action of the whole keyboard. Well I happened to have let's see thousands of these little rubber grommets and I'm going to try to find the exact part and include a link in the description. Um, they're about a quarter inch diameter and they have a little groove again I'm so sorry for my crappy YouTube skills they got a little groove in there which allows you to fit them in so that they seat properly and the groove goes where those two little protruding pieces of plastic are in the bottom of the keys. Every white key took two grommets, one piled on top of the other. Every black key took three. And now all of these bases protrude out another millimeter or so. And the thing is that they're also soft. So they're not going to throw the action off. They're not going to uh, pop a hole in these or damage them in any way. They're nice soft rubber. So it turned out accidentally to be the perfect uh, fix for dead or sticky keys on a Korg Poly 61, which uh, after a lot of research seems like is a pretty common problem with these. And not all my keys were bad, but I did it to everyone just with the thought that it would kind of unilaterally seat the action the same way across the whole bed. And sure enough, it worked. I'm going to put the camera on the tripod um, put it back together and prove that it works. So bear with me. These guys, um, I'm assuming anybody watching this has repaired or cleaned these kind of contacts before, but they're pretty delicate rubber. The way they seat in is there's little holes in there and you kind of press them in with your finger if they won't that you can give them a poke with a pencil end or something, but nothing too sharp. And then give the bottom side a tiny little tug to make sure that it's seated on there well enough. This slots into that, these little white clips. Oh, wait a minute, upside down. Um, 
center it and look under there so you know they're going. They're all going where they're supposed to. This is an RF shield. Make sure when you're doing anything like this, make the uh, drill as weak as possible so that it breaks and clicks with any, as soon as it's even remotely tight, because you don't want to over tighten any circuit board or it might crack. This is the ASMR part. I always wish that my shop had perfectly clean white floors with chrome magnetic strips in a tile pattern so when I drop little tiny screws you'd either be able to see them on the white floor or they'd get stuck to the magnetic tile cross patterns. Isn't that a good idea? screws over this little shield here have washers so it'll hold it down. One more, where is it? Right here. Flip our keys back over. Um, and a lot of times these things don't really work their best until you have screwed the, the whole keyboard mechanism into the body. But, so I don't have to make you wait any longer for the big moment. Now I'm connecting the ground wire to the back of the keyboard. Very important. And pull this closed. Put this where it would be. Audio cable in. Power cable in, never work on anything with it plugged in. see all the way up the keyboard but the, about half these keys were dead and then when I just did the cleaning and put it back together 
I'd say 20% of them were still dead, but the old grommets inside the little actual plastic bottoms of these keys totally worked. It would probably work on other types of keyboards as well, and since, because a lot of them have a standardized sort of plastic key design, but it definitely worked on this Korg Poly 6. Thank you very much. Uh, if you liked this video, tell, you, tell two friends. And don't subscribe to anything.